wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. There they are. Nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them. Whoops. Careful, Buster. All the tins might fall over. Phew. Great save, Grandpa. <laughs> Next. Yay! The soccer ball! Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait! Grandpa's been left behind. He can't find him. Oh no! Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. Look, it's Ash and his mommy. They can help him get back to Grandpa. At last, Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! Buster and Daddy Bus are having a day out at the park. Uh-oh, careful, Daddy. They're going to play some soccer together. It's time for kickoff. Buster passes the ball and... Uh-oh, looks like Daddy hasn't quite got the hang of this. But Buster shows him how it's done. Time for a penalty shootout. Buster shoots and he scores. Oh no, Daddy Bus, are you all right? Phew, he's okay. Now it's Buster's turn to be in goal. Daddy looks determined. Whoops, the ball's gone flying up in the air. Oh look, it's Ash and Mommy Fire Truck. Buster is inviting them to join the game. Great idea, Buster. It's buses versus fire trucks. Let's go! Buster takes the ball. Ash dives in front. Mommy shoots for goal and she misses. Oops! I think Buster has another idea. I wonder what it is. Ash and Buster are teaming up. It's now kids versus parents. Who's going to win? 
Ash starts. Daddy takes the ball, but Ash tackles him. He passes to Buster. And Buster scores! Go, Buster! What great teamwork, everyone! They are both very tired as Daddy drives Buster home after a great day out. Oh, look, it's Mommy Bus! Buster waves goodbye to Daddy Bus. But wait, Buster is giving Daddy Bus the soccer ball. <laughs> he does need the practice. It's a sunny day at Buster's house. Oh, look! Mommy Bus is helping a kitten with a sore leg. There, all fixed and bandaged up. Scout is here to drive to school with Buster. They are playing in the playground. Oh, dear! Scout hurt her tire. Buster's got an idea. What is he up to? He's bandaged up Scout's tire with toilet roll. All fixed. Great work, Buster. Looks like Ash wants to be bandaged up as well. And now Scout wants her other tires bandaged up. But Buster is all out of toilet roll. Bandit has a cheeky idea. They're all taking the toilet roll. They're getting the toilet roll everywhere. This looks very messy. They're getting a bit carried away. Oh dear, they've covered the playground in toilet roll. <gasps> Teacher doesn't seem very pleased. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. She wonders what has upset the teacher. Buster explains he was trying to help Scout like Mommy helped the kitten. Mommy will be able to bandage it properly. Time to get properly fixed up. Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive. But I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast. Scoot, scoot. Wow, Scout told such a cool story. Huh. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Hmm. Ah. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark <laughs> wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> ah. Oh. Huh? But then, hmm? I came face to face with a dinosaur! <gasps> but he had a oh. sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Ah. Wait a second. That's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh dear. Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. Mm. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be mm. interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> this summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes, oh. pirates are even cooler <laughs> than sharks. <Ooh>. Yarm, hearty! <laughs> Hmm. Okay, the pirates and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided oh. to take the tooth hmm. out with a little help from a friendly little bee. <laughs> hmm. 
We took out the sore tooth and then... They played catch with it! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, <laughs> especially with friends. It's a windy day at the park. Buster and Daddy Bus are here for a fun day out. Daddy Bus has a surprise for Buster. What could it be? Oh, look! It's a kite! Buster gets ready to fly it. Daddy Bus pushes it up into the air. Wow! It's flying so high! Well done, Buster! Look! It's Monty, the hot air balloon! Oh, no! A big gust of wind has blown the kite away! It's caught on Monty, and he hasn't noticed! Don't worry, Buster! Daddy has a plan! Oops! Watch out, Daddy Bus! Whoa! Great header! Go, Buster! Bandit and Ash look very confused. Where are they going? Buster is trying to get Monty's attention. But he's not looking where he's going. Watch out! Oh, no! Buster has driven straight into a muddy puddle. He's stuck in the mud. Daddy heaves him out. Great teamwork, guys. Uh-oh, a tree has fallen across the road. But that won't stop them. Daddy Bus flies right over the log. And Buster slides straight underneath. Wow, that was awesome. Quick, there's Monty. Looks like Daddy Bus has an idea. There's a huge pile of mud and they're splashing through it. What are they doing? They've drawn a picture of their kite in the mud. And Monty has finally noticed the kite oh. wrapped around him. Oops! <laughs> Buster gets his kite back. Ah. Thank you, Monty. Hold tight, Buster. Phew! That was a close one. Buster is having fun splashing in some very muddy puddles outside his house. Look! It's Grandpa Bus. Oops! Now they're both covered in mud. But Grandpa has a plan. Where's he taking Buster? They're at the car wash to get cleaned up. Hooray! It looks like the car wash is all out of bubbles. Aha! There's the soap. Grandpa adds a small squirt. And Buster turns on the car wash. Go, Buster, go! Hang on. That's a lot of soap, Grandpa Bus. <laughs> Buster is covered in soapy bubbles. How funny! That was a very good joke, Grandpa. Now it's Grandpa's turn to get cleaned up. Looks like Buster's got a plan. He's getting his own back. Grandpa is covered in soap. He looks very silly. Look, Terry the tractor is here for a wash. Whoa, go easy, Buster. The bubbles are overflowing! Oh dear, what a soapy mess! Otis doesn't look very happy. Time to clear up the mess. What a silly day! Buster looks so excited! I wonder why! A storybook! Buster wants Mommy to read to him! Buster loves a good fairy tale! Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. 
Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner, but he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm, Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look, he's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck. Hooray! <laughs> She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire. Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout. Oops. That's better. Well done! Now it's Buster's turn. Wow! Watch out, Buster! <laughs> that was a great day, but now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. <laughs> Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you. Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? Oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha, and there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no, quick! Phew, the fire is out. Yippee! What great teamwork! It's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look, Mommy Fire Truck. She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. 
Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drums. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four! There! That sounds even better than before! At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster did. Ash is coming round to play at Buster's house. They're really excited to play some board games. Today's game is Snakes and Ladders. How exciting! And Ash gets to go first. Five and two. That's seven. So Ash moves his counter seven spaces. Now it's Buster's turn. Eight! Along the counter goes. Now it's Ash's turn again. Oh, wow! He's rolled very well. He's going up a ladder. Now Buster. Five. Oh, dear. Down the snake he goes. Buster's not doing well. Oops! He knocked over his counter. What's that? Here comes Grandpa with lots of other toys to play with. But he's dropped them all. Ash is helping to pick them all up. But no one is watching Buster. <gasps> oh no! He moved his counter up. But that's cheating! Oh no! He's moved it to the finish line like he's won the game. Now Ash is back. Looks like the game is over. Buster won. Ash doesn't understand how that happened, but he's happy for his friend. Ah. That's odd. Buster should feel happy he won, but he doesn't feel right. Not right at all. Buster cheated. He didn't win fair and square, so it feels all wrong. But Grandpa knows it's not all about winning. It's playing the game that's the fun part. And now it's Ash's turn. Ash rolls. Whoa, he almost went down the snake. Buster goes down another snake and... <laughs> there, Ash won fair and square. But Buster is happy for his friend. They had so much fun playing together. It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? <laughs> Mommy slipped on all the water. Mm. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. 
There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. <gasps> Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car. Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom. Look at it go. Now Scout wants a go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh. Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh, dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh, no! The car crashed and broke. Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. Aw, oh, now they've made up. Oh. Friends always <laughs> forgive each other. <laughs> there! Now they can both control the car. It's the end of school, and it's time for Scout to return the school flower that she'd been taking care of. <laughs> now whose turn is it to take it home and care for it? Hooray! It's Buster's turn! Buster is going really slowly. He wants to make sure he takes good care of the flower. It's time to say goodbye to Scout and Ash. Whoa, careful, Buster. That was a close one. Buster is so happy to be caring for the flower that he's drawn a picture of it. He's even brought it to dinner. <laughs> I don't think it eats carrots, Buster. It needs water instead to make sure it grows strong. But now it's time for bed. Good night, flower. The next morning, Buster is super excited for school. Careful, Buster, you don't want to knock the flower. Oh no! The flower has smashed. What is Buster doing? He's hiding it because he's afraid he'll get in trouble. Hmm, Buster is pretending to be ill. But he doesn't have a temperature. Oh, now Mommy understands. Buster doesn't want to go to school with the smashed flower. He thinks he's let everyone down. But Mommy knows what to do. They'll put the flower in a brand new pot. It looks even better than before. There, good as new. Buster returns the flower to class. Everyone is really impressed with its lovely new pot. Good job, Buster. Now it's Ash's turn to take care of it. Hooray! Buster, Scout, Bandit, and Ash are having a race. Buster and Bandit are neck and neck. But Scout's dashed into the lead. Whoosh! Scout won! Nice work, Scout. She really is super speedy. What's that noise? Thunder? Oh no, it's a storm! They should take cover or they'll get all wet. Whoa, that was close! Ash nearly skidded into his friends on the wet grass. 
Wait a minute, that gives Buster an idea. Whoosh! <laughs> Skidding through those muddy puddles is great fun! They could play a game, see who can skid the furthest. What a great idea! Bandit is going first. Swish! He skidded all the way over there! But Scout thinks she can do better. Vroom! Whoa! Scout went even further than Bandit! Now it's Ash's turn. He's so little, he's spinning round and round. He's all dizzy, but he's gone the furthest yet. Last up, it's Buster. Whoosh! Uh-oh, he's skidding out of control. Whoa! Oops! Buster splashed Mommy with mud. Looks like it's time for all the little vehicles to get back home. They're back at Buster's house in no time. But wait, they can't go inside until they're all cleaned up. Mommy's going to use the hose to wash all the mud off. Splish splash! And <laughs> there, now all four of them are clean again. But even so, that skidding race was so much fun. It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! It's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh wow! A drawing of some fireworks! Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. There, now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. Oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh dear. They frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't oh. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. 
<laughs> wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Buster's going to give it another try. Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks! Buster and his friends look so excited. What's going on? Oh, wow! Mommy has set up an Easter egg hunt for them. What's that? I think Scout is really excited about having some yummy chocolate. Ready? And go! Everyone's going to look for the Easter eggs. Oops! Try not to bump into each other. Nice! Ash found an egg in that tree. He's rushing back and putting it in the basket so they can all share it later. Good job, Ash. Ooh, I think Buster has seen an egg too. Wait, this is just the wrapping paper. Where's the chocolate egg gone? Buster's disappointed. But look, there's another egg by the bush. Hmm, this one's just wrapping too. Someone has taken the chocolate. Very strange. Oh dear, Ash is worried. They haven't found enough eggs to share around. But it's okay, they'll just have to keep looking. What's this? Another empty bit of wrapping. There's Bandit. He's sneaky. Maybe he's been stealing all the chocolate? He's got some eggs. But look, he's putting them in the basket. It's not Bandit who's stealing them. Look, there goes Scout. <laughs> She'll know what to do. Hmm? But wait. <laughs> oh. Is that chocolate around Scout's mouth? <laughs> She's the one stealing all the eggs. Look, Scout hid all the eggs she found behind that bush. She loves chocolate so much, she wanted them all to herself. But she's very sorry. She knows sharing is the right thing to do. Buster forgives her, but they'd better clean that chocolate off her face. There, Mommy can share them out equally. Ash, Bandit, Buster, Scout. Everyone get some yummy Easter eggs. It's egg. time for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck. Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear. I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. There's Buster and Scout driving home. Wait, what was that? Oh, wow. It's a little baby reindeer. She must be lost. Buster is trying to cheer her up. Aw, I think she wants to play. <laughs> She's a jumpy little girl. Now Buster's throwing a snowball. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Scout. 
<laughs> it's fun to play with new friends. <gasps> now Buster has built a snow ramp. I wonder what he's up to. Vroom! Buster's doing a big jump. Now it's the baby reindeer's turn. Whoosh! <laughs> now Scout. Oh. Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Buster. <gasps> but where's the baby reindeer gone? They're following the footprints. There! <laughs> she was playing hide and seek. <gasps> Where's Scout going? A big pile of snow. Oh, look! It's Scout! Whoa! More reindeer footprints. Bigger ones. I wonder where they lead. I think the friends are going to follow them. The tracks are winding all through the trees. Look! It's Mommy and Daddy reindeer! They're so happy they found Baby. Baby Reindeer has had so much fun playing with Buster and Scout. But now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, Baby Reindeer. See you again soon. Oh, whoa! It's time for the Christmas talent show. Bandit is going first. He's doing some magic tricks. Good job, Bandit! Aw, Buster looks nervous. I think he's got a bit of stage fright. Poor Buster. There's Scout. It's her turn next. She looks so excited. Oh, cool! She's going to do some juggling. Very good, Scout. Oh, dear! Buster still looks nervous. He's afraid to go on stage in front of all those people. Hooray! Scout's finished her show. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, but Buster doesn't want to go on stage. Mommy's getting worried about Buster. The stage is empty. I think Mommy has an idea. What's this? Mommy's on stage. She's encouraging Buster to come join her. They'll do it together. <laughs> Here Buster comes. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring with Buster we sing. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, well done, Buster and Mommy! That was beautiful! Buster and Grandpa are visiting the Christmas Winter Wonderland. Look at all the amazing stalls! Wow, Buster really wants to win that teddy bear! He's asking Grandpa if they can play. They get three throws to knock down the cans. Oops, Buster missed. Oh dear, that's all three of his throws. He's having another go. Oh no, he missed again. Buster's upset, but I think Grandpa can teach Buster a thing or two about throwing. The key to hitting what you aim at is to take your time. First, you take a big, long breath. Then take aim, crouch low, and throw. Whoa, Grandpa hit the cans. Now it's Buster's turn. A big, long breath. Take aim. Crouch low. And throw! Hooray! Nice shot, Buster! 
Now, time to go win that teddy bear. Oh dear, Buster didn't take his time. He needs to take a big, long breath, take aim, crouch low, and throw! Hooray! Buster did it! Well done, Buster! And here's his prize! Buster's so proud of himself! Look, there's Buster, Mommy, and Grandpa! I wonder where they're going on such a snowy day. Oh wow! They're going to get a Christmas tree! So many trees! Which one to pick? Hmm, what's this? Buster wants the biggest tree there is! That really is tall! Now it's time to take it home. Mommy is pulling the tree in her trailer. Phew, that looks heavy. Wait, oh no! The tree is too big to fit through the front door. But wait, Grandpa has an idea. Now they're trying to take it up the ramp. Nope, that doesn't work either. But now Mommy has a bright idea. Hmm, it doesn't fit down the chimney either. But Grandpa has another idea. Three, two, one, charge! Oh dear, it still doesn't fit. It's just too big. Look, it's Scout. She's off to get a Christmas tree of her own. I think Buster has an idea. I wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> Grandpa's using his saw. Whoa! They cut the big tree in two! Scout can have half, and the other half will fit through the front door! Hooray! <laughs> there! That Christmas tree is just the right size for the house! There's Buster and Scout! They're having great fun playing in all the muddy puddles. But, oh no! Poor Scout is feeling a bit sick. Aw, it's okay. They can play together again tomorrow. Now Buster is heading inside and grabbing a snack. But, oh dear, he's not washed his muddy wheels before eating that apple. That's not very clean. And he's left muddy wheel prints everywhere. The next morning, Mommy comes to wake up Buster. But, oh no! Buster doesn't look well at all. Poor Buster. Whoa, he's got a temperature. He'll have to stay home today to get better. Now it's time for some medicine. Buster doesn't like the look of it, but Mommy knows it'll help him get better. There, that wasn't so bad. Now Buster just has to get some rest. The next morning, Buster is feeling much better. <laughs> Scout's feeling better too. They can go outside and play again. But wait, Mommy says they should wash their hands first so they won't get ill again. Good job, everyone. Wait, Mommy has another idea. They can wear these face masks too so they don't get sick. There. Now Buster and Scout are ready to play outside safely. They're so happy now that they're feeling better again. Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. 
Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops. There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. <laughs> it's a brand new snowy day. And Buster can't wait to go outside and play. It's so much fun to play in the snow. And the best game of all is a snowball fight. Diggly and Scout are on one team, but Buster needs a teammate. Look, there's Bandit. He can be on Buster's team. Though Buster and Bandit don't always get along. Time to start throwing snowballs. Buster and Bandit are hiding behind that hill. Hmm. Buster thinks they should go this way. But Bandit thinks they should go that way. Oh dear. They can't agree. They're not working together as a team. Buster is sneaking through the trees. But Scout has spotted him. Look out! Oh dear. Bandit is trying to sneak behind the fence. Buster and Bandit aren't doing very well. But look! Scout and Diggly are working together. That's it! If Buster and Bandit want to win, they'll need to work together like a team. Whoosh! Off they go! That's more like it. Now it's a real fun snowball fight. It's much better with teamwork. Who threw that snowball? Grandpa! The more players, the more fun it is. An exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today they are making Mother's Day cards. Look! Teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster is starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. <gasps> Oh no! Now Scout is stuck as well! Watch out, Scout! 
Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray! It worked! Oh dear, what a mess! Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it! Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again! Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout! What's Buster spotted? Oh, look! It's Diggly and Daisy! Buster wants to help. But safety first! Look at that awesome builder's hat! Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys! Now they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble! Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud! Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well! Daisy to the rescue! Nope, that didn't work! What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane! And he's pulling Buster out! It's working! Just a little bit more… Oops! Now they're all stuck! And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed! But Buster's got a plan! He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate! so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster! Jiggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together. And that's it! Hooray! It worked! Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. <laughs> well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. <laughs> Now it's time for a spot of lunch! Yum, yum! But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud! Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to Look do. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting! Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster, yellow, of course. Let's paint. Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scout's. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Buster's go next. What's he going to paint? A bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! 
Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful, that paint is very messy. Oh dear, they're getting paint everywhere. What a mess. Uh-oh, the yellow paint is all over the floor. <gasps> and now the purple. Yikes. Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun. Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess. But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn! And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone. Wow, the room looks completely clean. Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops. Well, not completely. It's sports day at Buster School. How exciting. First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Go, Buster! He's the winner! Hooray! That was easy! Buster is the fastest in school! Next up, it's the high jump! Scout's up first! Scoot, scoot! Wow! That was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump! Off he goes! Oops! Don't worry, Buster! He doesn't look very happy. Uh. It's the egg and spoon race next. <laughs> Get ready and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun. Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first. Well done, everyone. What a brilliant day. Buster and Ash are on holiday at the beach. Mommy Bus and Mommy Fire Truck are preparing a barbecue. And Buster and Ash are building an amazing sand castle. Whoa, those waves are really coming in. Quick, the sand castle could be ruined. Ash to the rescue. He's protecting the castle with a wall of sand. Great idea, Ash. Oh look, it's Iggy, the ice cream truck. Hooray! Oh no, Ash's wall couldn't stop the waves. They've ruined their sand castle. Buster is very sad. But Ash has got a plan to save it. Buster is too upset to help. Maybe an ice cream will cheer him up. I wonder what flavors he'll choose. 
Wow, that's a huge ice cream! Whoa, steady! Ash is still fixing the sand castle. Buster could get Ash an ice cream too, but he's upset with Ash because his wall didn't protect the sand castle. Buster's only getting ice cream for himself. Whoa! Ash has rebuilt the sand castle. Good as new! Buster now feels bad he didn't get Ash an ice cream, so he's giving Ash his. Be careful, don't drop it! Iggy gives them another cone. Now they can share the ice cream! Yum, yum! Delicious! Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus. Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story. Whoa! That monster is super scary! Phew! Don't worry, gang. It's only Daddy Bus. Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow! Poor Scout! <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That served Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh, no! It's a real spooky monster! Phew! It was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. Daddy Bus is taking Buster, Bandit, and Scout on a camping trip in the woods. It's time to set up the campsite. First, they've got to put up their tents. Yay! Daddy is showing them how. He's hammering in the pegs to stop the tent from blowing away. Look, they are keeping the tent in place. Aha! All done! Whilst Daddy Bus collects wood for the fire, Buster and his friends are finishing their tents. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> Bandit has some marshmallows. <gasps> Yummy! <gasps> oh no! Buster didn't hammer the pegs in properly. The tent has come loose. He can't see a thing. Watch out, Scout! <laughs> Uh-oh, it's blowing away! Will Buster be able to catch it? Scout and Bandit join in to help. Go, Buster, you can do it! Aha, it's finally fallen to the ground. Oh dear, not again! Daddy Bus, look out! Oops, the firewood has gone flying! You, he's okay. Time to finally put the tent up. Let's make sure all the pegs are in this time, Buster. Great job! I wonder what Daddy Bus has planned next. Wow! They're roasting marshmallows. Mmm, delicious! What a brilliant day! It's Buster the Bus. But, whoa! He sure looks sleepy. He's driving off the road. Oh no! Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle. 
And now he's stuck. Poor Buster. How will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage. But, oh dear, Buster is nowhere to be found. Where is he? But look, muddy tracks. Scout is following them to see where Buster is. There's Diggly the Digger. Scout tells him Buster's missing. They need to find him. Scout and Diggly search together. Look, a trail of sweets. Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, oh, phew, it's just Robin. Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search too. They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together. Poor Buster is lonely and cold. Scout looks behind the trees. Diggly looks beside the rocks. What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks. Look, there's Buster. He's stuck in the mud. He's been here so long. Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found Whoa. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Now Buster is free at last. He's very grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back. Whoa. Safe and sound in his garage. It's a bright new morning. And Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting! Oh no! Buster accidentally ran over the present! It's flat as a pancake! Poor Buster! It was just an accident! But wait! I think Buster has an idea! Look! Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box! And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets! There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present, and... Whoa! It's a pinata! It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes! One more smack! Look at all those sweets! An amazing birthday present! Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Look at it go! Look, there's Mommy! She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing. But, oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No, maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. <gasps> Wait, 
I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. Where's the noise coming from? Under that pile of leaves? Hooray! They found the toy car. But wait, now the controller is missing. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Well spotted, Buster. Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again. But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them. Good job. Whoa! Buster and his friends have been out trick-or-treating for Halloween. Buster has lots of tasty sweets in his bucket. Grandpa reminds Buster that he shouldn't eat too many sweets at once. Now Buster's up in his room. But now, no one is watching. He's eating all the sweets he can. Ouch! That really hurt! Oh no! Buster has a wobbly tooth! That's really frightening! Mommy's come to fetch Buster. It's dinner time, but he's hiding his wobbly tooth. I don't think he wants anyone to know. Dinner's ready. Lots of tasty vegetables. But Buster doesn't want to eat. Mommy can tell something has upset Buster. He's showing her his wobbly tooth. Aww. Grandpa knows what to do. He tells Buster to take a bite of that sweet corn. Look! Buster's tooth has fallen out. That wasn't so bad. Buster feels much better now. Now it's time for bed. <laughs> Mommy tells Buster to put the tooth under his pillow. Whilst he's asleep, the tooth fairy will come to collect it. Buster wakes up the next morning and... Whoa! A big gold star! Buster is going to wear that proudly. Now he knows there's nothing to worry about with a wobbly tooth. What a bright, sunny day it is. Oh, look! It's Diggly and CJ. They're filling up CJ's mixer with water. <laughs> what are they both up to? Look! There's Buster and Scout. Phew! What a hot day! I wonder what they can do to cool down. Whoa! Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons. <gasps> Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea. Ooh, a water balloon fight. Ready, set, off they go. <laughs> what are Buster and Scout planning? Oh, look, Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash! Uh-oh! Scout has been hit! <laughs> and bullseye! Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? It's Scout. But she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster! He splashes CJ from behind. Quick, Buster! Oh no! CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered! What are they going to do? Aha! An umbrella! I think Buster's got a plan! CJ and Diggly take aim, but Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella! Great idea, Buster! Uh-oh! Diggly and CJ are filling up again! Whoa! Look at the size of that balloon! Looks like Buster is in trouble! Wow! Nice shot, Buster! That was so much fun! Look! It's Buster the Bus on a bright new morning! What's he going to do today? 
What's that? Seeds? Whoa! Buster's going to grow some fruits and vegetables. Buster heads to his vegetable patch and takes a look at the instructions. First, he needs to dig a hole to plant the seeds in. Buster starts digging. Oh dear, this could take a long time. But look, there's Diggly. He'll be able to help. Diggly's the best at digging, and he's always happy to help his friend. Diggly will have holes for the seeds dug in no time. There, no problem. Now Buster plants all the seeds in the holes and looks at step two. Sunshine. The seeds need sunshine to grow. But uh-oh, it's a cloudy day. But look, there's Monty, the hot air balloon. Maybe he can help. There, Monty's pushed the cloud away. Now the seeds are growing. Now, step three. Rain? Looks like another job for Monty. He's hopping on the cloud and perfect. Now they just have to wait for the seeds to grow. Many days pass. The plants get bigger. Then one bright morning, Buster checks his calendar. Today is the day! <laughs> Look! Red tomatoes, orange pumpkins, yellow sweet corn, green beans, and purple eggplants. Well done, Buster! Look at all the colorful fruit and vegetables he's grown. Now he can share them with his friends. <laughs> Look! Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout slipped too. Phew! Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. Hey! And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. Huh? They can swap oh. jobs. <laughs> Scout can collect up all the letters. <laughs> then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. <laughs> Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well? Everything looks normal. <laughs> Apart from that letter. <laughs> and the time isn't right. <laughs> and the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. It's a brand new day. And it's time for Buster to head off to school. There's Diggly. They can go to school together. They're going to race to school. Whoosh! I wonder who will be fastest. Whoa! There's a little duckling in the road. He should be more careful. There's a mommy duck. She's trying to cross the road with her ducklings. But look out! Here comes Terry. Here comes the teacher, too. Oh, no. Phew. Thanks to Diggly and Buster, the duck family can cross the road safely. Aw, they're going to swim in that pond. Uh-oh, that duckling is walking back to the road. <laughs> Good job, Buster. Now the ducks are going back over the road. Buster and Diggly are helping them cross safely. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Mommy Duck is crossing, too. Well done, everyone, for helping! <laughs> but Terry and the teacher want to get moving or they'll be late. Wait a minute. I think Buster has an idea. Hmm, what are they doing with those paints? White lines? And some signs? It's a duck crossing! Now the duck family can cross the road safely whenever they like! There's the teacher again. He's telling them to hurry up. The kids had better get to school or they'll be late. Nice work, everyone! <laughs> it's Buster! Time to wake up! <laughs> it's a bright new day! <laughs> Look, Mommy has made Buster's breakfast already! Jam on toast! Buster's favorite! <laughs> Ouch! Buster drove over that toy! It's okay. Mommy can kiss it all better. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh. Now Buster can go out and play soccer. Ooh. How exciting! <laughs> <laughs> now Buster is playing in the park with Scout. <laughs> nice one, Scout! <laughs> But, oh no! The soccer ball has gotten stuck in the tree! But look! Mommy has knocked the ball free again! Well done, Mommy! Now they can keep on playing! What's this? Mommy and Buster are painting a picture! It's so much fun to paint together! Look! The sun has a face! <laughs> but oh dear! Buster is sleepy! It's been such a busy day! Time for Buster to go to bed now! First, Mommy reads Buster a bedtime story! Aww! Good night, Buster! It was so much fun spending the day playing with Mommy! She really is the best! <laughs> it's Buster the bus! I wonder what he's up to today! An Easter egg hunt! There's one Easter egg! Nice work, Buster! There's another! That's two! And three! Four! Five! So many! Whoa! That's a lot of Easter eggs, Buster! Mmm! They look yummy! Buster loves chocolate eggs! Tasty! Buster's eating as many eggs as he wants! Good morning, Buster! Oh dear! Buster looks very unwell! He has a tummy ache! I think he ate too many chocolate Easter eggs! Here comes Scout the car to see if Buster's okay! He looks really sick! Poor Buster! Scout is going to take him to Amber the ambulance! She'll be able to help! There's Amber! She always knows how to make little buses feel better! Yup! Buster is sick alright! But luckily, Amber has some medicine to help! Open wide, Buster! That'll make you feel better! But that's not all! If Buster wants to fix his tummy ache, he needs to eat some healthy food, like an apple! There! That'll soothe Buster's grumbly tummy! The next day, Buster is feeling much better! Oh hey! It's Diggly the Digger! What's Diggly got there? Uh-oh! I think Buster has had enough chocolate Easter eggs for one Easter! <laughs>